please tell us your name and where you're from. Uh, my name is Jessica and I'm from Pasco. Okay, Jessica, how did you come about uh, Hungry Generation? Uh, my family and I, we moved here from Texas um, so we can come to this church. Um, I, I did not want to move here at all. And I made a list of 50 reasons why we shouldn't move to Pasco. <laughs> Do you have that list with you? I, it's okay. She has that list on her phone. She texted her dad 50 reasons why they should not move to Pasco. But the, the, the dad and her parents set up their minds and said, no, we're still moving. And her dad told me that she actually had some legitimate reasons <laughs> for that. And so, Jessica, can you please tell us your testimony? Uh, when I was uh, 12 years old, I, I met this guy when I... Uh, that's from Canada, and I began talking to him, and sooner after, like, I began talking to him, I started going into a state of depression. Um, well, he, yeah, he wouldn't show his face, but I, I don't know why, but that just made me stay. I had, like, this curiosity, wanting to know what he looked like, but um, it didn't seem wrong to me. It seemed like it was, like, a normal thing, which it's not. Um... Sooner or later, like, whenever I tried to, you know, feel good about myself, you know, be happy with myself, he would find a way to bring me down. He would say hurtful things, and he would, um, he would just bring me down and not let me feel happy with myself. Okay. So how did you uh, get saved? How did you give your life to Jesus Christ? Um, it was on the last conference, um, the day before, uh, I just decided that I'm just going to stop talking to this guy. I didn't know why I was still talking to him. And um, on the Saturday night of the conference, um, I just felt like I just had like this touch from God, like, like I just needed to like trust him and like follow him and and so the next Wednesday, actually next Wednesday after the conference, she gave her life to Jesus Christ. Can you um, share your experience? How, how did you feel when you came to the church? And what did you feel? And why did you decide to give your life to Jesus? Well, at first I was, you know, I'm like, I was like, you know, shy and stuff. Like I didn't want to like talk to anyone. When I first, before I came, I was like, I'm not going to make any friends. I'm not going to talk to anyone. I'm going to ignore everyone. But the first day that I came here, like about five or six people came up to me and were like talking to me and actually having a conversation with me. And I felt welcome in this place. And it felt like, like this was like a home environment. Like I don't have to be afraid to talk to people, to be open with myself. And on the the next after the conference on the Wednesday, I decided to give myself to God and dedicate myself, my life to Him. And what happened afterwards? <laughs> what happened after you gave your life to Jesus Christ with your depression and other things you were struggling with, like opening up to people and holding everything in, in yourself? Well, I no longer, I don't, have, I don't suffer with depression anymore. Um, and um, before, I had problems with accepting, you know, love from others. I had problems with um, thinking that people actually appreciated me and actually thought that I mattered. But after a while, I decided, like, I don't have to think that way anymore. And I started opening up, and I started um, just feeling... <laughs> Just being able to tell people that I love them for who they are and how they made me feel. Awesome, awesome. Praise Jesus. So, what can you tell, maybe what advice can you give to people for, for those maybe who are struggling with depression? What can you say? Uh, well, <laughs> um, just don't, don't hold back. If you feel like you're alone and you have no one to turn to, just turn to God. He will always be there for you. He already knows what you're dealing with, and he will help you through your struggles. 
and he wants to lead you to a better life and help you with your problems so you can be happy with you. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jason.